All right, let's do some more of this. Um, I'm gonna grind some Nook Miles up for a bit, but also work on some things. Because I want to get a, uh, an ABD machine. ATM, you know, you know what I mean. Okay. Oh, <laughs> well this is kind of fitting. This is very fitting. Given I'm gonna work on this area. I sold some stuff late last night, so. Yeah. Just grinding the miles last night. Cause it is expensive. Yeah, okay, so now I can actually see how this this is good. How this looks. Alright, so that's where his thing is. I might even temporarily move the one outside of Scoots to there. Alright. Hey, Shell, how's it going? How's things? I'm gonna move this. Then I can... Oh yeah, and I have some stuff to donate as well. Uh, put that away... Put that away... Doing a bit better. Yeah, good to hear. Yeah. Uh, I am just glad the week's over. <laughs> so, weekend mode. I'm just ready to just kick back. I do have a couple of things to do. Boring adult stuff, but uh, weekend should be chill. I suppose I should take off the pants, huh? Wait, what is that? Oh, it's like... This is strange that there's one of these and yet no Kiwi in the game. I'm trying to think what I haven't used. No, I might just go like that. <laughs> That's fine. Alright, let's get to it. I got things to donate and then I'm gonna work on what I've been working on. So the idea that I, I have for this beach area, I'll refine it a bit more today. I might even be able to do part of what I had in mind, we'll see. But in case you missed it, I am doing a little casino area. So the idea is red, 
runs a casino area at the secret beach. And you can't get into it unless you take a secret pipe that's hidden in the men's bathroom. <laughs> so he deals illegal art and all that stuff and it's guarded. But you can't get in there. It's just like, ooh, inconspicuous place of business. So I have uh, some machine... poker machines? I don't know, like... Gaming machines. Gambling machines. These. Okay, so give me a minute. It's good that he's here today, because now I can actually see how it looks with the boat there. But yeah. I think this is a cool idea. I'm pretty sure I can place gyroids in these, because they're stools, technically. If not, I'll just get gyroids. Okay, so... Yeah. Um. And what I'm gonna do... I hope this works. Okay, it does, so then... Do this. Didn't I pick it up? Or did I put it away? Ugh, oh, I put it away. Like an idiot. I gotta go get it. I'm gonna put an ABD there. Okay, for the sake of my own sanity, I'm gonna do this temporarily. So that I don't have to keep going through the warp pipe. I'm also going to see if... Eh, maybe it's not necessary. I'll figure it out. There it is. I accidentally put it away. I'll go dig up the gyroids. Excuse me. Just reminding myself of the surroundings. Ugh. Well, I got more green flowers. Still, the blue ones are kind of being difficult. Look, get there. I just want a couple more. I don't want too many more. Just 
couple more. <laughs> you would, you would think I'd get them soon. Like I really don't want to wait around just to get them, but uh, I don't know. These are all gyroids. Okay. Hey, blathers. This is not authentic, right? That's fake. It's okay, I have beetles that I got. Two of the harder beetles to get. It is said that the giant stag is a popular pet among bug enthusiasts. Though how one might consider oneself enthusiastic about bugs is quite beyond me, but I digress. Giant stags look fearsome with their enormous curved mandibles, but in truth, they're really quite cowardly. Oh, how they love to hide away in the rotting wood only to reveal themselves under the cover of dark. I shall never turn off the lights again. Uh, okay. The golden one. Yes, yes, the golden stag beetle is quite the prize, thanks to its metallic gold colouring. But let me speak plainly, the golden stag is not made of gold. It is made of bug, through and through, and thus it is vile. Golden stag? Bah! Gross stag more is more like it. Yeah. Uh, I'm done here. Has anyone told me that I have a soothing voice? Yeah, multiple times. Appreciates when people say it. I'm trying to get better at accepting compliments about it. But, you know, my story is growing up, a lot of people didn't like my voice as a kid. Or at least the way I spoke, I don't know, so... I guess at a certain point that opinion changed and I was like, what? <laughs> Since when? So... It's taken me a while to kind of be able to be like, oh yeah, no thanks, but I thought I needed to have coffee. I've gotten it several times, it's just people have said that I help them turn off their brain or just, I don't know. Like, I should look at a career and reading stuff, but I'm kind of a mess when it comes to reading things sometimes. Alright, let me go back to what I was doing. I'll go to halves and stuff, but I want to play some of these things. my ABD. There it is. Okay, so there's room for one more thing here. I don't know if I want to place it though. But this looks alright. So the idea is this is his casino and he pulls up his boat to sell artwork and then when the law enforcement is on his ass, he just drives away. 
I don't know. I think thematically this makes sense. It's just... Ooh, he has slushy machine on sale, so I can just buy multiple of them if I want. Alright, so I have that one. This one is fake. This one I have. I'll go check this one. This one's real. There's actually good stuff in here today. I might grab a couple so then I have them as something that I can use. These are good. And I might, uh, start messing around with the idea that I had. Because I think I have enough to kind of test. Okay, um, first, let's throw a... Ah, uh, so you can't place them there. But what I can do is make the gyroid a dealer. I'll make the gyroids run the casino. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's what I'll do. I'll get some stools. Um, okay, I made that bagel sandwich for a reason. to place it here. There we go. This farm area looks so much better now. Okay, so bear with me. I'm going to mess around with an idea I've had. I got this idea at four in the morning. I kind of woke up. <laughs> I don't even know. I was having a dream about playing the game and then I had this idea. Or at least I did this in the dream and I, I got up out of bed to test if it would work and it does. But like... This is, this is interesting to me. I want to try this out. Well, it's not so much deja vu, it's that I got out of bed to stress test that this is doable. I'll, I don't even remember what I was doing, it's just I specifically remember using the yoga mats to do this. That I was using them as a way to... To kind of do segmented boards and segmented brickwork. So the difference between these two would be that... You have like a smaller gap between, it's like quarter, it's like a quarter gap between the two because they don't sit flush with one another. So you kind of end up with this, like this, I don't know, I'll see if it works. <laughs> if it does, I'll, I'll do a lot of it, but if it doesn't, that's fine. So that's why I ordered a bunch of them. I think I have enough to at least do the path to the casino. But see... Like that, for example, right? You could do some some strange things with it. Or like with this. Or even, I think this, well, maybe not that one because it's not completely see-through, but like that, that would work. This one it looks a bit weird with the line, but yeah, let's let's see. I'm messing around with it. I'm messing around with it. If it, if it works well, it works well.
I think it's going to work pretty nicely. Because the, uh, the end idea is... By having the woodwork be on the yoga mat, that means you can use another pattern underneath. So in other words, you can have, like, this brick and then a second brick on top, or, like, you kind of overlay them over one another. Or that water pattern I have, for example. Like, I could make it so there's fake water and then the yoga mats are used as, like, making, um, like, a wooden bridge or something out of it. So that's the end result I'm hoping for. So we'll see. But also along the beach, putting them in the sand randomly and, you know, being able to skip one. It just looks like one of them got buried in the sand. This is either going to be, like, one of my best ideas or it's just going to suck. <laughs> there is no in-between. We'll see. I think what what'll make it look visually interesting is just Okay, so let me let me see if this will work. Yeah, hold on. I need to make it face that way. So the only thing here will be Hang on. I'm gonna start it from here. Okay. This is what I'm curious about. Oh shit, it actually works. This is exactly what I pictured. That's like... You see what I mean? Because they're not sitting flush with one another, it adds like a gap between them. So it looks more interesting because it's not perfectly flush. So then if I... And because you can place it on a half file, you can do stuff like this. And you don't really notice the tag that much. Like, the tag just looks like it's a piece of metal. It looks part of the pattern pretty seamless. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. This came to me in a dream. <laughs> and I got up to stress test it. I was like, wait, would this work? And it works. Okay, and then... I just visualized it. I was like, this this would work. And the beautiful thing is you can place another pattern underneath it. So... Whilst I can't do it here... Okay, I mean, let me just, let me just test it, right? Let me just test it. So my idea would be to use a combination of this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So let's just pull this out. Oh, I'm definitely gonna run with this. Like, I have, I have a couple of other ideas on how to use this. I didn't see the tag until I said it. <laughs> yeah. No, this is good. So the other the other thing I imagine is gonna work, right? So let's say I do this. Okay, I can't do that, but just this is just to test it. It's not that I wanna put it here, right? But using this pattern. Okay, and then going... Let me make it a line. Because again, it <clears throat> it's working off the fact that these can be placed on like a half, right? So there we go. So it's placed on a half. So then it goes over the seam, and then you do this. So now you can see the water through it. 
So, realistically, you can make a bridge where it'll look like you can see what's underneath. So that's the one thing that I don't like about the bridges, is you can't do something like this, where it's like, you know, there's a gap and you can see what's underneath. So if I did this um, going long ways, instead of vertical, I think it would work nicely. Yeah, that's cool. Alright. <laughs> and this is just with wood, like, you can do it with brickwork as well. Like I said, like, any tile that you want to kind of mess around with. I'm sure you could do something crazy where you have two pieces of stonework that are pretty similar, but then you're using these yoga mats to kind of make a pattern with it. It's hard to explain, but like... I hope you get what I'm, what I'm saying. It's to be able to get extra layers of detail. Alright, it works. This is why I've been ordering yoga mats for the past few days, because I wanted to test this. This looks good, so I'm going to run with it. I'm just going to... Yeah. I have a few more in storage, so I'll, I'll finish it up. I just like the fact that, yeah, it looks more natural because there's a gap. For, for the beach, this is going to be good. Like, I'm going to put this along the beach. And right, like, here it's pretty straight, but you could say, like, move it to the left or to the right by, one, by like, half a unit. So then you could do, like, a, a path that kind of curves a little. You just need a lot of yoga mats, but they're pretty inexpensive. Cool. <laughs> I was going to do this yesterday, but I didn't have enough yoga mats, so I didn't want to just start it and not complete it. Anyway. Alright. Good luck. I'm content. Like I said, this was either going to be like one of my best ideas or it was just going to suck. Thankfully, it's it's on the side of good. The other thing that annoys me is like when you try to lay, like say, you, let's say I use the stone pattern underneath here and I want wood. It does this weird thing where it kind of blends the two patterns in together. So this completely avoids that. You get the full color of the wood and it doesn't do that weird thing where it blends in with the stone pattern. So you can have patterns on top of patterns without them blending in. That's that's the idea. I don't think I've seen anyone do this, so I don't know. I hope it's a first. <laughs> I'm sure someone else has done it, but it's much like the gyroid thing. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna continue with the daily stuff quickly, before I get to more, but... Yeah. Alright, sorry I got distracted a little, but... <laughs> Hello, Dom. And anyone else that has just joined that was just, like, stress testing... ideas. The island's behaving a little bit better now that I've cleaned up a bit of the flowers. It was starting the lag and I was getting worried. That's a recipe. I already know it. See, so yeah, I'm gonna use this, uh... I'm gonna use this. Particularly along the beach, like I might go yoga mats this way and then kind of go maybe up to here and make a boardwalk or something. I'll figure it out. But do like yoga mat pathing. I don't know if it'll cause the game to lag up a bit more.
Uh, alright. Let's go to Hobbs. It's almost complete. I just have a few more things to do. I think in the next couple of weeks it, it should be close to done. I just have a few ideas that I need to realize. It's gonna be harder because now I, I need more yoga mats. Don't know if you had the patience to decorate your whole island. Slowly, you do it, day by day. I mean, when did I... I don't even remember when I started decorating. It would have been, like, November. Because the rest of it was just... getting things up to date. Like, doing what you need to do to get to five stars and all that. So I wasn't really decorating too much back then. I did little things here and there, but... I think a lot of that stuff I redid. It's something you just, yeah, work out whenever you can. And just... I mean, people will tell you that... If you have a theme, it helps, but I don't know. I think winging it is also fun. I, oh, look what's here. <laughs> don't mind if I do. I'll take that. Okay, um, I need to get a curtain. That's what we want. Oh, but you can can you color the actual curtain? I mean I guess even if you can't. The I I want these to be uh Yeah, what hides the place, so I'll buy them. And then I'll get yoga mats. One, two, three, four. This is gonna be like the simple panels all over again. <laughs> Just stockpile them whenever I can. I think if you had a theme, you'd get bored of it and want to keep changing it. That's fair. I think if I had a theme, it would drive me crazy because I'd have to find specific furniture. At least with this, it's just, well, I look at what I have, and then I kind of work within the means of what I have. Like, this thing that I'm doing with uh, Casino for Red, I only came up with that, like, a few days ago. I was back and forth between what I was going to do with that area, so... I like that it's working out. Looks like I'm wearing hobo shoes. They're <laughs> just mage boots. Apparently I didn't have this. I'm kind of looking forward to trying to lay a path with uh, the mats, but like, not make it such a straight line. I think it would look pretty good. Okay, now the halves. I'm 
I'm gonna need... <laughs> going to need... At least 30 or so mats. Maybe, maybe a little more. The cat's watching me. I've heard that Animal Crossing is one of those games that pets watch. There's another game that I played called Risk of Rain 2 where... Every time I played it, people would tell me that their pets, for some reason, were watching intently. But it wouldn't happen with other games. I mean, maybe it would help more now because there's a cat on the screen. Is this health or friendship? Health, okay. So if I want to move stuff today, it's going to be easier. I'm not sure I do. Alright. Give me a minute. So how many yoga mats do I have? Waist tied flannel is so 90s. <laughs> That fashion hasn't died out in Australia. Flannel still exists. Um, a lot of tradesmen kind of dress that way. You know what's crazy is the, the the mullet haircut has made a comeback here. It's just, oh man, I, I look at kids with that haircut, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> I can't believe that haircut's back. Alright, so I have like... Six in total. Not enough to do anything major, but... Um, I need stools. It's okay, like I... I grew up in the 90s, so... It's on point. But I guess I wouldn't have worn flannel like that. The tied way shirt. Yeah, I can't say you see that very often. Unless it's kids. <laughs> I'm like, uh... God damn it. Like, almost boy band level. Where are my stools? That's a chair. Like, do I not have little stools? Oh no, here they are. Yeah. Um, you know what? I might use the boxy stools, just to make him comfortable. Yeah, I mean, I've always worn whatever's comfortable. Um, I guess green? Makes sense, given the other stuff is green. Oh, let's see, the temperature doesn't allow it, but if I had the choice, I would wear hoodies and stuff like that all the time. I like the idea of suits and whatnot, but like, unless you're buying one that's fitted to you, it's not really comfortable. I just can't be comfortable in a suit, or anything, like, adjacent to that stuff. I don't know, I just feel uneasy. Like I should be doing something important.
pajamas all the way if you're at home. I used to have these um, football jerseys that were just gigantic, but they kind of wore down over time, so I don't... I think I have one left, but those are comfortable. Just massive t-shirts. The head fleas. Stand still. Okay, let me let me finish this up. All right, so place a boxy stool. Yep. So the gyroids are going to be dealing the hands. Let's see what else I got. Let's see other one. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so I have a little bit of room left. Let me see what I can do to work with this area. I might put more gyroids, like some gyroids operating these. And otherwise, yeah. I have an Animal Crossing hoodie that I like. It's just got the Nook Ink logo, but it's it's a really comfortable hoodie. Okay, uh... Well, I guess for these I can just use the regular wooden stools, it doesn't matter. So, just get this, and this, and then I don't know, like, what else have I got? I've got that, and like that. I mean, the, the, the item is innocent. <laughs> it's just a deck of cards, but I'm making it look like a blackjack table. <laughs> I don't think there's a- I mean, maybe this is the closest you can get to gambling. But even then, that's it's pretty ambiguous enough that it's not interpreted that way completely. I'll leave one machine free. Yeah, I mean, the Animal Crossing hoodie, they just sell on Nintendo's online store. Oh, wait, I needed to place the thing first. Even though you can't see it too well, it's just as long as it gets the idea across. Put you here. 
I don't know if I should put, like, a bag of money instead of a coin. It might be better. Maybe a bag of money might look better. Wait, why wouldn't it rotate? That was weird. Okay, cool. Let me see how it looks. Hmm. Bag of money or single coin. I'm leaning more towards bag of money. I'm gonna go with bag of money. Looks more appropriate. This is the, uh, <laughs> what do they call it? Not high stakes, damn it. Um, high roller? Yeah. Like a minimum. I, I don't know much about gambling. The stuff that I know is because my dad used to work in a casino. So. Okay. Well, the curtain's coming tomorrow. But what I'm going to do... In the meantime, so you get the idea. Um, oh yeah, I need to check the art. Before I seal this up, I need to check the art. I need to see if I have the uh, artwork of the kid that has, like, the weird hairline. <laughs> I don't know the name of the painting. That's just how I describe it. You'll, you'll know which one I'm talking about. Hey, uh, Chris on YouTube. Hi. Yeah, sometimes, like, the chat will be interesting because I have to, like, split the attention between Twitch, but... Primarily... I have to keep saying primarily the chat is on Twitch. I don't see it anywhere. Hang on. It's such a weird condition. It's like, you're allowed to multi-stream, but then you have to make it obvious that, like... The chat's happening more on Twitch, and you can't merge the two chats together, like... What is it? You can't use a tool to merge the two chats together, but then... If you have two windows open, that's fine. It's, it's, I don't know, man. It's just weird. It doesn't look like I have that painting. Alright, so I'll go buy it. Which one do I prefer streaming on? That's tough. So, I like Twitch more for the experience in terms of chat. But I like YouTube more in terms of the video quality, the video player. It's much better on YouTube, like you can just do better, better streaming quality over there. And you can choose not to have ads at all. You can completely not have ads. Huge bonus. But going live on YouTube is a hassle. And they don't really promote streams on YouTube. It's kind of clunky. Like, they're putting more effort into shorts than streams on YouTube, so... I have things that I like about both. Right now, it's a case of the audience is primarily Twitch, but that might change eventually, because I'm just putting more, like, just general content on YouTube where I'm just talking about stuff. So who knows, it might shift one day. I think right now it just makes more sense to just put your content on as many platforms as you can. And not tie down to one. Authentic. I wonder if I want more of these. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? 
when they walk out of here, they try walking forward and then they hit a wall instead of going out the side. Anyway. I got some money out. This is convenient. It's not just for show. I'm gonna see if I can squeeze in, like, a palm tree lamp here. So I think there's... I think there's space. Let me see. They each have their pros and cons, pretty much. What kind of YouTube videos am I making? I've been... Trying a bunch of different things lately. Um, I mean, what have I done? I did... Because I played through all the Zelda games in the lead-up to Tears of the Kingdom. I did a tier list of it. Which, that video was a lot of effort, but it did get good traction. Um, I tried, like, taking the stuff that I did in Animal Crossing Happy Home and just doing, like, a speed-up of the builds. So just kind of going, hey, I just... This is the build watch it go super fast and then yeah showcasing that stuff that didn't really get that much traction and then i've done a couple of other videos where i've talked about some retro games which they've done all right because i hadn't played a sonic the hedgehog game so I, I played that and just talked about my experience with it where is it oh idiot it's here Sorry, it's been a bit of a week. But then, yeah, I put my stream archive on a separate channel, and then another channel that just has, like, just shortened forms, just highlights and clips. So I'm doing everything you should be doing now. Not that it's always been the case. Like, I did want to get into it sooner, but, I mean, COVID kind of derailed shit. Just, I don't know, I, I didn't have the energy to kind of put a lot of effort into creating stuff. It just, that, those couple of years kind of sucked. What did I forget? Coconut, clay... It's wood, isn't it? I've forgotten wood. Shorts and videos are a lot of extra work. Well, the shorts are just clips, so I just usually take stuff from the Twitch clips, which isn't too bad. If you're coming up with shorts to, like, do as content, so to speak, on their own, that is a lot harder. That is a lot harder. I should do cocktail drinks for the casino. Yeah, I, I, I just don't think I have table space for it. I guess the only thing I could do is like maybe get rid of one of the money bags and just put a drink there instead. I was thinking about that. Hmm. I was thinking what else I could do to... Let me, let me mess around with it. Would it still be functional if I could place it here? Because I could probably put like a little bar or something on the beach. It could work. I don't really know about casinos apart from the films. Yeah, they have drinks for sure. That's one of the ways casinos keep people at tables is like they just make drinks cheap. It's like, uh, I forgot the term of it. 
I think it's called like Lost Leader. It's like things that get sold with the intent of not making money, but being a way to draw people in. The only thing is, I guess the beach mats wouldn't work in this circumstance, but I'm okay with that. Like, I think what I can do... Which I guess at this point that means no palm tree lamp. Unless it could squeeze in here, we'll see. Let's see what I can do. Um... I guess I need a... Oh, I know. I know what I can use. Yeah. I know exactly what I can use. This thing. I can place a couple drinks on it and then maybe squeeze the ice drink maker behind it. Let's see. Let's see how much room I have. I mean, maybe... I think if I want to make this be... Hold on. Functional. Give me a sec, where is it? That's the one. Jeez, I'm losing my mind. Okay. Oh, why? <laughs> it's facing the wrong way. No matter how many hours I've sunk into this game, I still don't have it down. Yeah, there. Okay, stop. Stop. That. Right? And then... Where is it? Wistful painting, stove top, frozen drink machine, cheese. There we go. Alright. And then it's a counter like that. It's fine. It'll work. So then here. I'm pretty sure I can still do it. It's, it's just going to be a little bit different, but it'll be. Okay, hang on. We place that way instead, which is fine still. Like, I still like the look of that. Ah. <laughs> My yoga mat idea. It works pretty damn well. Okay, and then I'll get the... the... What? There's like a coconut one, and then there's another one. I'll... I'll see what I have, but I'll get a coconut at the very least. Make the coconut drink. And then I'll get one of the, uh... I think there's a melon soda one that I have. I mean, it's between these three. I'll make the coconut one, but... 
kind of leaning more towards one of these two. This looks okay, but I don't know. It looks more like a... Not really something you would get at a casino. This looks casino. Same with this. Hmm. We'll go with that one. And then, if I remember correctly, the coconut drink. I think the blood orange drink is something that I would have, but the lemon, just from a color perspective, balances it out. It's not just pure orange. Yeah, this is weird, but there we go. It's just that. I guess this was before they had recipes. They didn't bother making it into a real drink. has a bit of everything. Um, I guess I should put a gyroid here to run the bar. But I'm not sure you'll be able to even see it. Unless... Okay, so, you know, realistically I should do this, but... I think for the sake of, like, it looking good. So then you can see what's going on. This is better, right? And then I'll just put the gyroid on the stool facing that way. Okay. I'm trying to make up for the fact that I spent like an hour cleaning up flowers yesterday. <laughs> so. that, that probably wouldn't have been the most exciting thing to watch. Eh, I mean that'll do. Um, gyroid that looks like it's slinging drinks, let's see. Maybe. Maybe. I'll change the color on it. See how it looks. Hmm, kind of like how that one is already. What about? Oh, see, this is nice. the stool. And then... Let's try this one first. It's not really moving. It's probably because it doesn't have an audio source nearby. I might have to hide a speaker somewhere. <laughs> Which, that's fine. Um, it's easy enough to do. Oh, crap. Uh, what about you? 
Oh, yeah, that's the one I just placed. Is it this one that I haven't placed? I think this one's probably going to do the job. And then go that way. Okay. So I'm going to hide a radio here. <laughs> so then it plays music that, they, that these ones react to. I think I have one tape deck spare. Let me get a couple more of these out. Where the hell? There it is. Hey, Vana, how's it going? How's things? Hey, bear with me. I'm gonna make more of my fancy yoga mats. I'm so glad this, this worked out. didn't miss it this time. <laughs> I did start a bit earlier today. I just wrapped up work and went and got some groceries and got like a small pizza. Just Yeah. I'm glad the week's over. You got to see me testing. Well, I guess it's tested now, but I had an idea. I, I was dreaming that I was playing the game and then the game I had came up with something. So then I got up at 4 a.m. yesterday to stress test it and yeah. This is this is the end result. Using yoga mats to do like uh floorboards and fancy designs. It's just Friday for you. You got anything on today? It's 7 p.m. here now. I'm gonna hide this here so then this will react. So let's pick. It sounds casino like. I might go with this. Okay, so... Yeah. Casino area set up. The idea here is Red runs an illegal art and casino. So, his ship turns up, and then when the law gets on his ass, he just goes away. But this is his casino. Um, I still need the curtains, but for now I'll use this to block it off. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... Put... And I think... Hang on, does this work? Can I put a gnome on top of the yoga mat? Because if I can, this will make me happy. I don't think you can, but let's just see. Yeah, you can't. Just have Mario stuff and flowers in that area. Yeah, it's hard to know what to do with it. But honestly, I was back and forth a lot 
with what I wanted here. I was going between just having a nice pathway that just led to a beach where someone was painting. I was thinking basketball or maybe like soccer, football, whatever you want to call it. But then eventually I settled on this. Like I, I just came up with this idea. Okay, I need to make I need to make sure these are facing the same way. Hold on. There is room, stop lying. I think that's all I can do unless I do this. Let me see how this looks. Mm. See, this is this is the beauty of this is just yeah. Put this away for a minute. I'm so happy this idea actually worked. Yeah, that. So now I can do that, and then... <laughs> awesome. The gnome is a guard, yeah, I'm using the gnome as guards everywhere. They're my security team. So there's one here, you know, outside of any good venue, right? You have one at the entrance, you have one in the line that admits you in. I mean, even here, right? <laughs> I put them everywhere. It's cool here because I put the lines like as if they're going rabble, 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 rabble. They're telling people to yeah, stay back. But now. So to get to the casino, there's a guard here. It's like the gnome, you tell the gnome the secret password, he lets you into this inconspicuous stall. And then you arrive at the, uh, the secret casino slash art dealership. You get offered a drink on your way in. And, yeah, <laughs> there we go. I like it. I think I can place a Tiki Torch there. Just to kind of fill that spot in. Maybe one here. I don't know. I mean, I didn't. I mean. Alright, because I made it sit flush with the house, that's why. That's why there's a gap here. Yeah. It's so good that the ship is here today, so I can see how it looks like, so. I, I may as well make this my thumbnail now. Oh crap, I went saving it! I was supposed to do plus... Ugh, I always do this. I wasn't supposed to do saving it, I was supposed to go... Ugh. 
I'm supposed to do plus and then, yeah, pick something else with minus. All right, it's fine. Brain is like on just meltdown from the week. It's It's been a mix because it's like very hot and then it cooled down. Oh, it is not liking my island. But also just busy this week. I can't blame that it's late at night. It's only 7 p.m. But I'll call it, I call it the midnight brain when I start doing stuff like this, but I can't do that now. Just doing that here too. I'm worried that it might... Crash. Oh, you mean the weather thing? Yeah. It's alright. But in the next month or two, it's gonna. <laughs> Pretty much what you see in game, that's Melbourne during winter. Just rain. Not a whole lot else. I just wanted to take a screenshot, so then it's easier for me to make a YouTube thumbnail later. Okay, this is cool actually. Oops. Oh, oh, these colors are hurting my eyes. Sorry. Zoom out. It's 2 a.m. Can't sleep. It's all right. I'll probably be up late again <laughs> as well. Okay, I can find this later pretty easy. Worst comes to worst, I can base it off that. be 77. That's not too bad, but then again, I guess you're not in summer. I mean, this week it got to, it was like 100 Fahrenheit for two days straight, and it was not cooling down too much at night. Which, as far as Australian summer goes, it's like, eh, it's not the hottest it gets. For some, that's unbearably hot, but it gets worse. But you just stay indoors and you have air conditioning generally here, so it's not really a whole lot to stress about. I guess while I'm in here, let me get rid of this stuff that I don't need. I need more normal wood, so I'm gonna go to Daily Island and chop trees. But, okay, I'm happy with this result for now. Like, this this has worked. Now I just need to order a lot more yoga mats because I'm going to do more of this uh, hardening with yoga mats. So if you haven't seen this before, you've seen it here first. <laughs> I don't care. If people use whatever you want from whatever you see me do. I've already been told, like, a bunch of times that, oh, they've used some of the ideas I've done. I mean, I'll put this away if I ever want to get a flea model. But I think this this idea in particular is, is good because it just means you can have like this sort of thing on top of stone and then it doesn't do that weird thing where it kind of blends in with the stone underneath. And it kind of looks a bit more natural because you have like a little bit of a gap in between because it doesn't sit perfectly flush. So, I like it. Yeah, 
Anyway. I'll stop looking <laughs> for my own ideas and just, just keep going. But I'm gonna do more of it. Like, I will probably have carving that uses that around here. I'll figure it out. Or at the very least on the beach and I'll make it not be a perfectly straight line. I'll figure it out. I need to order a bunch of yoga mats, so I've been doing that. But it's good that, uh, yeah. What I tried today worked. That's your favorite statue? The, the one that I have outside of the casino? It's a good statue. Um, I'm gonna order the yoga mats later, just in case, like, I do something and I might need something other than a yoga mat. But yeah, I'm gonna go chop wood on the daily island. I'm trying to think the last time I saw someone with, like, a, a shirt tied around their waist. <laughs> now that's got me thinking, like, is, is that something that was really just exclusive to the 90s? I don't know. Hey, Star, how's it going? Thanks for the raid. I got to, uh... Test my idea today, Star. Didn't get to play today. Didn't have time. What's the idea? I'll show it afterwards. It it worked. It worked. It worked really well. I was on point even in my dreams. Oh, it's Money Island. Cool. Alright, but I'm gonna be chopping wood here for a bit because I don't have much normal wood left. Hey, Sims Delight. Welcome. Just busy all day. Yeah, I feel that. Do be one of those weeks. Okay. I've had the craving for like garlic bread lately. So when I went to get some groceries, I got like a, one of those garlic breads that you just throw in the oven and then it's like a focaccia sort of thing. So now if I'm watching stuff later, <laughs> I'll have that. I haven't had garlic bread in ages, but I saw a video where this dude was talking about his last meal involving garlic bread and he was dipping it in ranch and it just looked incredible. So... Had to get some. I can't say I've tried dipping garlic bread in ranch, but... It looked good. It was like the garlic bread where you put your finger on the bread and then it just puffs back out. Ew, really? Because, okay, so... If you haven't tried that, don't know if you'll do that. So this is interesting, because Pizza Hut and Domino's here, they have this pack, which is the Dippers pack. It's something that comes back every now and then. So they have, like, garlic bread sliced into uh, little rectangles, right? Long rectangles. Um, chicken, boneless wings. 
what else? Something, there's like a third thing, but then they have like an array of sauces, so like, they have um, like a marinara dipping sauce, uh, garlic aioli, and a cheese sauce, and then you just dip the bread, well, the garlic bread sticks into any of these sauces, and it's pretty good. They don't have it with ranch, but with the other stuff, it's, it's nice. Ranch isn't a thing that you get too much of here, so maybe with the other stuff I mentioned, it's better. But yeah, it's a thing here. I mean, okay, if not ranch, would dipping it in any kind of sauce be appealing? Like, what if it was, like, a honey mustard or, like, a spicy sauce? Or a barbecue sauce? Heading off shelf? Alright, no worries. Thanks for popping in. Or is this just gonna be one of these things where maybe it's just a weird Australian thing? Pickle ranch is good on salads, but would you dip bread in it? I mean, some Italian places here, they'll do, like, a serve of meatballs and sauce, and then they'll just have bread. So, I mean... Eating the bread and dipping it in the, uh, like, meatball sauce is pretty good. Or, or what about, like, dipping bread in, in soup, like tomato soup. People do that, don't they? So it's, it's similar to it. I guess it's just because it's, uh, it's ranch. I guess that's where the disconnect is. I wouldn't dip it in ranch personally, but like a marinara? Hell yeah. Like a nice one. You do marinara, okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's all that it reminded me of was just, oh man, just like dipping it in some marinara. I wanted to get potato chips, but they're expensive, so I didn't get potato chips. $6.50 for a bag. No, thank you. When, when did it become that, honestly? I feel like an old man, like, oh, back in my day, I used to pay $3 a bag. Well, it's six fifty Australian, which is like, if I'm doing the conversion right, like four dollars something American. So it's relative. It's a thing where things will be more expensive in Australia, but we earn more on average, so it like evens out in some cases. Wait, that's cheaper than here. A bag of chips is like $5, but how big is the bag? It depends on the size, but like, okay, hang on. We have to do conversions here. Um, because it's like... Hang on. Okay, so five, five point six ounces is six dollars fifty when it's not on special. But uh, I mean, the price that I'm comfortable buying it for is like three dollars Australian, which is I guess like two fifty, maybe two twenty American. 
for like 5.6 ounces. The brand also matters as well, but so the brand I'm talking about, we're talking like kettle cook chips, right? Like the, the fanciest of the fancy. Not talking like a Lay's. It's 4 a.m. <laughs> Everyone seems to be up today. Hey, confirming. I was just talking about garlic bread and how I got some because I had a craving for it. I have some waiting to be made. Is that all that I was gonna get? I think so. I was just gonna get the recipe, get some wood. That's ah, this one again. All right. Doritos, five dollars ninety for nine point two five ounces. Is that the biggest bag you can get? Because for me, like five point five point six ounces is the biggest I can get. There are bigger ones that are considered party bags. <laughs> they're like party packs, and they're probably closer to that. But the standard, the standard size, I guess, is like way smaller. And then there's the there's share packs. So there's like standard snack, standard share, and then party. <laughs> Party size is 14 out. Jeez! <laughs> what the heck? That's massive. Maybe it is more expensive here. I don't, I don't know. But, yeah. I mean, I was... I wasn't about to pay 650 Australian for it, right? Just when last year, at the start of last year, it would have been half of that cost. I did get some flaming hot Doritos though. They were they were on sale, so I got a couple of bags of those. All right, I'll show you what I did. So, I had a dream where I was playing Animal Crossing, and I don't, need, I don't remember what I was decorating, but the thing that was crystal clear was that I was using yoga mats as pathing. And so, yoga mats as pathing. You texture the yoga mat with, like, floorboards, and then it, instead of them being perfectly flush, it adds, like, a natural gap between them. The positive to this is because you can lay, you can put like another pattern underneath this. So you can do nice things with it, because if I was to put stone, for example, and then put the wood tile, it would kind of do this weird thing where it blends the two together. But this, you can have it independent of one another and it just forms like nice flooring. But I mean, doing it with bricks as well, uh, just, yeah, layering with yoga mats as a way to do different pathing. I got more of it done back there, so I can show more of it. But that was, that was the thing that I uh, was thinking of doing. But then also doing it in a large sense where the pathing along the beach just uses yoga mats, so then it looks nicer. Because otherwise they sit, like it sits right next to each other and it's fine, but it doesn't really do pathing. It's more of like uh like a floor at that point. But I needed, I don't know, ten yoga mats, so this is what I was working on yesterday. But now the boat is actually here, so it's a place where Red deals his artwork and runs the casino. So I got it set up. 
Uh, I just need the curtain, which is coming tomorrow. So the curtain's gonna be instead of this kimono sand, so it's properly hidden. And then there's a gnome guard. So that way, when people visit the dream, they can see that this area is here. They can see that this area is here, but they're like, how do you get to it? It's completely blocked off. How do you get to it? Oh, there's a pipe over there. Have to find the pipe. I mean, I guess you could swim around, but... How do you connect pipes? You just... It's just... Have two of them. Just place them. They're automatically connected. But I've hidden... Um, the idea is you go into the bathroom here... There's a gnome that'll ask you for the password. You tell him the password, he lets you in, you go down the secret pipe, and then you end up at the casino. <laughs> What's the password? You know, I don't have one yet. <laughs> PS4. That's an old meme, though. No one's gonna get that. Maybe people that have been here a while. I do appreciate the reference to the PS4, though. Alright, so... I need to grind Nook Miles for a bit because I want to buy some things, so that's what I'm going to do now. So let's go through the list. Stone, planting fruit tree, that's not going to happen. Catching bugs, talking to neighbors, okay. Um, but I need a new ATM. So the next set of things I'm going to do is probably going to be oriented around the camping grounds. So, I have laid something rough out. But I'm gonna work at it a bit more. Which also involves probably redoing part of this area. I'm kind of torn on it. There's, there's, two, there's two thoughts that are running through my head right now. So, as nice as this looks, I might keep it. But then this here, I'm not happy with it. So what I'm debating on doing is just scrapping this. Well, not scrapping it. Moving this. And swapping places with this. So then it's a cafe instead. So the cafe is here. And then there's like this sort of thing where people are sitting down and whatnot. And then it's kind of in close proximity to the food trucks and the campgrounds and then the books and an outdoor reading area and a library is like right next to the museum which probably makes more sense than having another cafe given there's already one inside so it's like swapping places it's just obviously gonna require like a lot of uh moving and all that stuff so that's one idea and the other one is, I guess, once I have the yoga mats, kind of refining this a bit more. So putting, like, random yoga mats here and there. So then it looks like it's just a path going up this way. Right? And some of that would... I'll just skip a couple. So then it looks like some of them are buried in the sand. And yeah, it'll look good. It's just extra detailing for this area. I gotta get more seaweed and whatnot as well, just to kind of scatter around the beaches. Um, no, that's... Those are the, the ideas that are going to be done in, like, the... short future. Short term. <laughs> short future? Near future. I can't talk today. I, I really can't. I have burnt all my my energy in terms of being able to speak and write correctly. I still have creative energy, I just don't have the capability to be able to uh, keep a conversation that is uh, 
See, I've already trailed off. <laughs> that doesn't involve me being so eloquent, you know. What do you want? Zap suit? What's a zap suit? Yeah, I'll buy it, but you piqued my curiosity. Okay. Anyway. I need to talk to one more villager. Catch fish. Stone. Okay. The other thing that I've been debating on a lot is destroying these rocks and trying to make them come back again. So then I can put sand underneath them. But I don't know. I've been told that the grass underneath looks good. But part of me wants, like, sand to be underneath instead of grass. But that would be a huge gamble because there's no guarantee that these two would appear. I, I, this is one of these things that I might just have to leave. But I would imagine this is going to be done within the next next couple of weeks. I can't imagine me being in April and still playing this, let's put it that way. They might... I have chaotic luck. It's... If I'm not looking for something or not wanting something to happen, I'm pretty lucky. But then the moment I want a particular outcome or start looking for things... They just disappear off the face of the earth. You're gonna clip to share this in April? I mean, go for it. <laughs> it, it it'll be hard to believe, but I could see a, a remote possibility. Just given what I've listed, given what I've listed in terms of what I want to do, Unless there's something that just becomes a pain to acquire, I think the island is looking good. There's not too much more. It's just detailing. Mm. Just making a couple things look a bit better. I mean, okay, the thing that I'm still on the fence about is here. But now that the yoga mat thing has worked, there's another idea I want to try. Um... There's another idea I want to try now that the yoga mat thing has worked. Am I just going to completely stop playing Animal Crossing? Yeah. I mean, this is the thing. is like sometimes I'll spend ages on a game and then, you know, it'll run its course. I can't keep playing the same game forever. I love, I love the game. I do. I love Animal Crossing a lot, but I don't want to be like just an Animal Crossing streamer. Because I enjoy other things, and there's other games that come out that I want to check out. But that being said, and games that are adjacent to Animal Crossing, I'll, I'll play. Like, Stardew Valley's got an update coming, so I'm definitely going to check that out. And there's whatever game uh, he's working on, right? The Haunted Chocolatier? I mean, who knows? We might learn about that later. There's also... Uh, there's, like, the Australian... Animal Crossing kind of game. Dinkum, which I've kind of heard good things about. So, there'll be things that are similar to this that I'll play. And then of course, when Nintendo releases whatever's next, I'll, I'll be here playing it. But, yeah, I can't just stick to the one game. Because what would, what would happen would be I would have to start a new island and then effectively come up with new things to do. And it'll just be this thing where I, I just have to constantly come up with something to keep everything fresh, you know? 
Which, I, I'm fine. I'd rather this be something that, you know, it... I put the best effort I could into it, and it was something that was enjoyable, it was an experience, and those that were here, you know, they got to see it and hopefully enjoyed it, but then it's kind of like this, this memory. It's something that maybe others might, like, talk about from time to time, but it's like the time passes. I don't know. I don't want to get to a point where it's like, Hey, my name is Will. I've been playing Animal Crossing for six years now. And today I undertake my biggest challenge yet. I'm going to play Animal Crossing, but only using my left foot. <laughs> it's just, I don't want to do stuff like that. E eventually it kind of gets to that point. you want to see it it's i i don't think isn't can't you not show feet on stream isn't there like a policy against showing feet because people it sounds interesting yeah i mean look like if someone is skilled enough to do that i take my hat off to them you know that's amazing that you can pull something off like that but I don't- I don't wanna, like, get to the point where I'm just grasping at straws for ideas just so I can keep playing the same game over and over again. But I guess, you know, to say one thing, I am very appreciative that, like, people may start watching me for a particular game, but then they still stick around when I inevitably move on from whatever game they were watching me play originally. That's just, that's always nice. And to be able to have that freedom is, is honestly, yeah, I, I do appreciate it. I don't take it for granted, because not everyone has that. Do I want any of this? Eh, not really. Hang on. Um, uh, I got some bad ones. I might plant some flower seeds and just... trash them. Stopped watching when I when I start playing Stardew. Oh, wait, <laughs> that's the that's the nice thing is like everyone has different memories of like what I played at the time. Playing a game with your feet would be fine, but I mean, not that I want to investigate this avenue, but all right, good to know. But also, I mean, before this, I played New Leaf. I've been playing an Animal Crossing game for almost a... It's gonna, it's gonna be nine months of Animal Crossing, so... Here's the thing. <laughs> the nine months of Animal Crossing happened because the year before... I put a lot of energy into games that were difficult, and as I had fun with them, but holy crap, some of the things I was doing. I needed a, a break from, like, torturing myself. So, those torturous experiences are going to return to some degree, because I do have a couple of Souls games that I want to check out. Wait, how many fruit trees is it? It's like two, right? Yeah. 
Animal Crossing will will be something that I come back to. It's not that once I'm done with this island, it's gone forever. To be honest, I I, I would imagine Nintendo's not gonna be too far away with a new game for it. Especially if a new console's around the corner, so. Oh, it's just one fruit tree. Okay. Given how well this one sold, I'd, I'd be shocked if they weren't already, like, working on whatever's next for it. They always buy just extra stuff. That's fine. I'll, I'll buy it. Oh, exchange. Crap. Oh, well, I didn't know what a zap suit was, but... I have another mariachi outfit. Okay, um, I'm just gonna... Plant and then just get rid of it. Who knows, who knows what the future holds, chat? <laughs> Still need quite a few more Nook Miles. Oh, selling. Okay, well. Okay. <laughs> I kind of knew that was going to happen, but I, I figured, oh, maybe it won't. No, it, it vanished. That was my own fault. I should have waited. But I guess the other thing is, is like, if, you, if people do want to see me play games in particular. Wait, what the hell? Why did auto mod... The fuck? <laughs> auto mod... Twitch's auto mod did not allow the word clay. Okay. <laughs> what? Ruin arch coconut juice. Oh! Hey, coconut juice. Yeah, that, that is, uh, that is exceptionally weird, given I put it on pretty much the lowest setting. Yeah, it's just Twitch being weird, don't worry. I haven't seen auto mod pop up in, like, two years. Congratulations, you said something so unhinged and disgusting. Blame the movie Ghost. I mean, maybe. If it's that kind of clay. That was probably clay, though. Sorry for saying clay. It's okay, I forgive you. It's not the it's not the worst thing that's been said. I'll sell a few of these. 
make some money. Yeah, I got I got so tired of just auto mod just uh doing so many false positives on weird things that I just I didn't disable it, but I lowered its scope. This is the first time in a long time where it's uh, rear it, reared its head. I mean, clay, clay is something you use, and clay is also a name. Like, what happens if your name is clay? Is auto is auto mod just gonna? Just gonna kick you to the curb. Get rid of the stuff. Don't need it. Yeah, I don't know. It's okay, like, you're in... The chat of an Australian streamer, honestly. The chat's gonna be pretty unfiltered. Listen, I had to add so many exceptions for a particular word that starts with the letter C. Not clay. <laughs> Another four letter word that starts with the letter C. I added a bunch of exceptions to it because as an Australian, I feel like that word should be allowed in the chat. You're not gonna hear me say it much anymore because YouTube does not like it when videos have this word, but it's one of these things that just, it's, I'm sorry, like, in Australia we use it a lot. And occasionally it, it will slip if I'm ex especially frustrated at something. <laughs> That's the one word you really don't like and all your Aussie friends say it. Oh, really? I mean, I guess context is important, but... Here it's like... I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I've gotten better at not using it. It's fair enough to not like the word, because the word has different meanings elsewhere, right? Like, I'm not gonna fault someone for not liking it. But, you know... The other thing is, it's culturally, it's, it's a different thing here. It's kind of funny sounding the way they say it. Yeah. I mean, that's the other, I guess that's the thing, is, like, we've been using it in a way that doesn't typically mean malice, necessarily. It can, just more often than not, it doesn't. But, you know, you, you adapt at the end of the day, it's like, it's a word, I'm not gonna die on the, the C word hill. <laughs> I'm not gonna die on that hill, like, I, I've accepted that I need to use it less and less. Oh, damn it. Could have gotten more. Probably, hang on, I should probably split the stack because I don't want to sell all of it. 
But anyway, just, yeah, YouTube does tend to punish videos that use that word. So, understandably so. I have, I've used it less. I think when it's most appropriate is just like, when something is giving me a lot of grief in a game and sometimes swearing can be used for comedic em emphasis and I think hearing an Australian say that word can often sound funny. So that's the only circumstances I use it. But like if I call something a wanker, see that word is safe. the fish now stop making me plant stuff okay uh ugh, catch a scorpion catch bugs all right it's all right like the way i do videos now or at least stream replays for youtube i separate my voice track from the game audio so if the word does slip out sometimes and I need to go censor a particular word that YouTube is not going to like, then I can I can do that. So, you know, if I say the word clay, I can safely censor that out later. So then I don't get demonetized for saying the word clay. Because as we all know, clay is like the worst of the worst. Why are there no bugs? I should probably look at the list of uh, fish and bugs as well. <laughs> You're bad. Yeah, it's gonna take like a team of editors to clean up this video later. Just this filth that has been spoken. Uh, it just takes me back to, like, a time where someone, you know, I, they meant well, but they were saying that they wish I didn't swear so much on stream. Because, you know, sometimes kids would be watching. And I swear, I swear it was, it was just a knee-jerk reaction, but my, my actual respon response was, oh shit, sorry. <laughs> I just, I, I keep thinking back to that. I, I've just, I don't know, like, that was just such an automated reply, like, I just knee-jerked and just doubled down on the swearing. Ah, I probably needed that. In Dead of the Fence, that was before Twitch went to more of an effort of warning. Now there's, there's warnings for mature content, so... The onus isn't on me anymore. Oh yeah, right. I did get some yesterday, so there should be some pieces around. <laughs> it's just the worst. Yeah, it's okay. We forgive you. Um, for this, I'm gonna put like a little place where Alice paints. So I'm just gonna like put art supplies and stuff around here. I'm probably gonna move the lighthouse to the west side of the island with the, the boat and stuff. See, so there's, there's still, like, a bunch of little things to do. Oh. 
You love painting? Oh, that's awesome. I wish I had the, the talent to do painting. I used to do a lot of digital art, but it just... Through the passage of time... <laughs> once I started working full-time, I started doing it less and less. I mean, my only creative outlet these days... It's pretty much this. Like, just... Playing games, editing videos, talking about stuff. It did used to do, like, a bunch of stuff back in the day that... Like, uh... Like, I used to do a bunch of stuff for MSN Messenger, but that's... Old boomer shit. Well, I guess not boomer shit. It's old millennial shit. <laughs> I don't think many people would, like, recognize MSN Messenger these days. Back in my day, if I wanted to talk to someone late at night, I used to have to smother me pillow. I'd get a pillow, then put it over me phone, and then dial into the internet so I could use MSN Messenger. It would go ree 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 for like 30 seconds. Ah, uh, shit. Waiting. You're Gen Z, then? Yeah, you have no idea what I'm talking about. It's fine. <laughs> All I can say is just, like... Imagine you want to chat to someone. Pull out your phone, set an alarm that... And let the alarm go as loud as possible for 30 seconds. And you can't touch that alarm for 30 seconds. And then, yeah. Then you're online. That's what we had to go through. Trying to sneak onto the internet after bedtime, man. Oh, this sucks. I just have these same ones over and over again. You don't even know what gen you are. That um, I think, like, Millennial is up to the age of 40 currently, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there's different an there's different answers to it. But I think the accepted answer is, like, those that were either kids or teenagers with the rise of the internet, they're Millennials. Like, early teenagers, I would say. Not, like, late teenagers. I don't know. Google it. You can. It's just there's different answers for it from what I've seen. I know that I'm comfortably in in the uh, the millennial group. But I think I'm just gonna be one of those people that like don't seem like they're old. Until my voice starts to give way and I start sounding like an old man.
But I don't know. Even as a teenager, I, I've spiritually been an old man. all the bugs? Okay, yeah, it is. Uh, get changed, I'll just change my socks. You were born in 2000, but you're considered Gen Z, but you've seen the bait. Yeah, you're right on the edge of it. You're like my brother, then. My brother was born in the year 2000. I think with that age group in particular, if you have older siblings, then you tend to behave more like a millennial than Gen Z. So there's, like, there's overlap there. It just depends what your influences are as well, right? I mean, my primary influences growing up were all Gen X people. Like my older cousins and uncles, so... And... Yeah, I always had to act a bit older because... I was just younger in school. I was always one of the youngest in school. So I had to act a lot older than what I was. You're an early child, but you have an uncle here closer who's a millennial. Okay. I mean, it doesn't. It ultimately doesn't matter. Like, yeah, you know, I have. See, this is like an old man statement. I get along with younger people. <laughs> but, you know, I'm trying to say it without a sense of irony and humor. It's, it's a case of like, you know, there are people my age that act like they're 15 and they're annoying and I don't associate with them. And then there are people that I know that are like 18 now that act in a similar way to me. And we got along fine. So it's like, age doesn't matter to a certain degree. It just depends on how you act. Because you can have someone who becomes a teenager and then they still act that way into their 40s. We've been watching Hell's Kitchen and there was a contestant on one of the seasons. In particular, that man just... It took me back to high school drama. Crap. So I act like a teenager. <laughs> I mean, sometimes. I think there's nothing wrong with being a little bit childish and keeping a bit a bit of that, right? Like, life can't be completely serious. Sometimes I have a sense of humor that can be definitely interpreted as immature. But then I make up for it, for, you know, being a responsible adult, but also, like, being able to have conversations that are beyond just skin-deep conversations. Um, oh, right, I went to the wrong thing. I'm supposed to get changed, I'm not. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's like an inner child thing. You know, there are, there are days where I just want to not do anything and be in bed and, like, eat some snacks and watch cartoons. And that makes me happy. But there are some people that would see that as, like, well, a waste of time and being childish, so...
but I see it as well. I'm just happy, and I, I don't know. I'd just I'd rather be content than do something and uh, I don't know, either be bored or just unhappy for the sake of like quote being mature. There are still people that consider like gaming to be only for kids, and yeah. Sounds like a nice day. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Just... It's relaxing and it lets you unwind. Buy item. I guess I'll buy customization packs. That'll be quick. That's an easy one. I might do the fishing one. See, a better way to phrase, like, the I get along with young people thing and not sounding old probably would have been, hey, when I stream on Twitch, I get, like, a, a mixed audience. It's like, some people are older than me, some people are my age, and some people are younger. And I kind of get along with all groups. <laughs> if I was awake enough, well... Not wrecked from a week of work and just a bunch of other stuff. I would have been eloquent enough to form that sentence and not sound like, um, I'm like Steve Buscemi. How do you do, fellow children? I relate to you. Skibbity toilet to you too, my friend, my fellow person. Yeah, see, I know about skibbity toilet. I relate to the children. I really, I really wish I didn't know about Skibbity Toilet. That's something that I could have gone the rest of my life about not knowing. You don't, you're old. Don't, just don't, don't bother. The best way I can explain it is like every generation has something dumb that they laugh at that a future generation will go. Wow, that's really dumb. I'm glad I'm not in that generation. So Skibbity Toilet is just, you know, one of those. definitely pinpoint the very first moment that I had the feeling of an old man. Like, oh wow, I'm I'm out of it. You don't know what that is? Yeah, don't don't look it up. It's just all it is is just something dumb that people find amusing. It involves toilets. That's all you need to know. Oh, I need to go get a new net. That is a good bug. I'm gonna put it away. But the first time I felt like, oh man, 
I think I'm past past my uh, prime. Well, not prime, but like I'm not in the current generation. Let's put it that way. But I was at uh, what was it? I guess the equivalent equivalence of PAX, because I don't think it was PAX. Australia has PAX in later years, but it was some game thing. I don't remember what it was called. Old man speaking. Um. But you know they had a they had a Fortnite stand there, and they were just having a bunch of kids just jump up on stage and do flossing, and they had like gigantic TVs on the wall projecting the kids doing the flossing stuff, and I just saw that and I'm like, okay, so I'm an old man now. <laughs> That's, like, the dawn of my old man arc. You know when Ninja- when Ninja did that for New Year's? And how awkward it looked? That's how it felt. How everyone felt when Ninja was trying to get people to do it for New Year's. That's how that moment felt to me. You can't floss. It does look a little tricky. It's one of those things that... You just need your brain to kind of comprehend what you need to do without stumbling over yourself. I can't say I've tried. Brain is not good. Everyone's brain is not good to some degree. We all have something we're good at and things that we're not so good at. Like, okay, you see me playing Animal Crossing and decorating stuff, and it's like, oh wow, he's good at that stuff. Or if I play certain retro games, like, damn, he's really good at that retro game. Or roguelikes, he's good at forming builds. You see me play a rhythm game, it's like, what is wrong with him? <laughs> why, why can't he get this? Why is he spending 20 minutes trying to get this section? Why is he messing up so many notes? What is going on? Is he... Is he dyslexic? Like... What? <laughs> or sometimes when I just have a long week and I can't read properly, it's just... I just kind of devolve into just making noises. Gotta make mistakes to learn. Oh no, but there's something about rhythm games that I'm just incapable of doing it. It's like, it's a snowball effect. I make one mistake and then it snowballs into another and another and another. I'm just, um, I can cope in them. It's just on the harder difficulties, I definitely can't keep up. Yeah, right, redeem Nook Miles. I mean, what am I gonna redeem it on? I'll get customized. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm horrible at it. I'm just, I'd say average or just slightly below average at it. It probably doesn't help that the times that I'm playing games is at night where I'm not as uh, focused. Oh, crap.
I was meant to do another one. I guess the slingshot, because I've been using that quite a bit. <laughs> On the top... I mean, I, I feel like now people are going to look at Skibbity Toilet, but like... It started off as a stupid internet meme, but now it's kind of blown up to, like, people doing live concerts with that stuff. Alright, I'll, I'll explain what it is very briefly, but it's- all it is is just- it's a head that comes out of a toilet, and there's a lot of animations that are just around it, right? It's just- it's- it's just stupid. It's just dumb. <laughs> It's, it's like the days, I guess what I can equate it to is like when they used to do the really weird, um, YouTube poops or like, uh, source animations involving, uh, the TF2 characters and then they would distort their lips or faces, right? It's like that level of humor. Or, if you want to go even further back, just lol, so random. Just internet. Early internet humor was like, lol, I'm so random. It's just, a, it's the same lines as that. It's just a toilet and a head. Can't say I've seen many of, many of it, but I am aware of at least what it is conceptually. Yeah, I mean, you probably would have seen it, to some degree. There's always, there's always something that the younger generation is laughing at that the older generation doesn't understand. It's just, it's, a, it's always a thing. And I guess for me, like, for a while it was South Park. I mean, we're talking early South Park, yeah. Or, like... Flash animations, happy tree friends, that stuff, it's just... It's definitely one of those things that it doesn't take very long to get over. Happy Tree Friends is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it is. But that's something that um, was just a thing for a while. Just animations that were in that style. It's like a golden era. Ooh. Take that. Happy Tree Friends is like South Park on crack. Yeah. Ah, uh, oh no, it's a fake, it's a fake. This is what I mean. I'm looking for the zebra turkey fish, but it's a common fish. And since I'm looking for it, it's now going to take me forever to find it. I think I nearly have enough uh, nook miles to get the, the ABD. And what else? I mean, 
There's so many, so many things. I thought for, I thought Rick and Morty was going to enter that um sort of echelon of just things that older generations would hate. Because for a while, man, like some of the people mimicking Rick and Morty, I mean, even I found it annoying. It was just like, man. I like Rick and Morty. But there was those dudes that were like taking the pickle Rick bit too far. Or like screaming wubba lub dub in in uh in public. They were doing some unchin stuff. Yeah, Rick and Morty's great. I think some of the later seasons have been a bit hit, hit and miss, but it's still overall good. Pickle Rick was overhyped. Yeah. See, Pickle Rick is a skibbity toilet. That's a, that's a perfect example there. Pickle Rick is basically a skibbity toilet. It's something dumb, it's funny, and there are people that are going to get over it, and then there are people that are just going to take it too far. And that's basically what we're talking about, is like, there's always something like that. Yeah, the last season was good, but others were debatable. I think the last season was alright, the one before it was the one that was a bit debatable for me. Like, I kind of watched a bit, then didn't watch it for a while and then came back to it, but last the last season that Ed was good. One that I'm looking forward to um, coming back that I've been checking out are uh, Smiling Friends. Because that is by a guy that did the uh, Rick and Morty uh, April Fool's special where it was like Australian Rick and Morty. The Australian Rick and Morty thing was so good, because it was talking about places that I knew about, and just the way that guy in particular depicts certain situations from Australia is just so spot on, it's not funny. He's very good at that. But yeah, he has his own show, uh, Smiling Friends, and that's that's pretty good. The dragon episode was crazy. Oh, yeah, that one. That one was good. I haven't watched any smiling friends. Okay. You should check you should check it out. Um It's weird, but I like it. haven't seen the Australian one should look into that yeah just Rick and Morty uh, bushland adventures I think it's called it's just it's it's uh it's like 10 minutes long but it was done for April Fool's one year and it was amazing <laughs> just Australian Rick is just like Morty get in the car Morty <laughs> just I did science to me gun, Morty! I don't know, watch it. Oh, there we go, cool. eventually. Australian Rick and Morty or Smiling Friends? 
Smiley Friends only has one season, so this, I think they're still working on the next one. Smiling Friends, yeah, it's... I'm trying to, like, think of what's similar to it. It has overlap with the Rick and Morty kind of humor, but then it's also kind of like, uh... Aqua Teen Hunger Force, if you know of that show. It doesn't have very many episodes, so it's, like, a pretty quick watch. one. I think I have enough for it now. Yeah, I mean, I like to finish watching things before I move on to other things. I don't like to watch too many things at once and leave things unwatched. I was getting through One Piece for, like, I don't know how many months now, but I got through One Piece. I blinked. Ah, it's fine. I forgot what shot it was, but there was a dude taking pictures in it. And he would just take pictures of people just hanging out, but wouldn't tell them. You'd just be like, hey, I took a photo of you, here you go. Like, this is you guys hanging out. A bit creepy, but his reasoning was, like, posing for pictures is kind of fake, and it doesn't really represent, like, a friendship being natural. Which, I, I can appreciate that. It's not this one, is it? It is very creepy, but the spirit of it is, like, the photos that come out like people being happy and hanging out together and you know that everyone just looks natural and happy and not like putting on a face or smiling and it's kind of easier to form the memory of the person that you were hanging out with than you know them standing still and facing forward especially if the person is someone that like doesn't like taking photos or doesn't smile a lot like if you just yeah, I don't know. It was an it was an interesting point, but the guy was definitely creepy. <laughs> Just you can't avoid the creep factor to it. But the photos did look good. Horned Hercules? Which one is that one? Let me have a look. I feel like you should get more Nook Miles for the ones where you have to find a specific thing. Violin Beetle. I think I'm doing good with this. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the, t the two interesting things he brought up was just one of, like, posing for photos is just fake, and the other one was, like, he used old cameras. So he didn't use a, he didn't use a phone or anything. It was that he used an old camera because an old cra camera only lets you take 24 photos. So it's like you have to pick, really choose if you want to take a photo at that point, and you're more selective about when you want to take a photo. So that was this whole thing, was just like, the photos he took were just really next level because of that reason, those two reasons.
Yeah. I didn't really think about it, but it kind of makes sense. Because now stuff like Polaroids are coming back. People want printed photos now. have a Polaroid? Yeah. Polaroids disappeared for a decade. The, you don't really hear much of them and people didn't use them, but they've made a comeback. And I think it's because people have kind of realized, well, there's like this large period of time where all our photos are just on a computer somewhere. Or like on Facebook or something. It's definitely the case for me. There's like a bunch of printed photos until about the age of, I don't know, like 20. And then there's just this void of, well, these photos are somewhere, but there's, they're not anywhere physically. And then now I, there's like more photos of me physically again. There was, uh, there was something written on the concept of like a digital dark age. And I was talking about this point exactly where just because everyone's moving their stuff to computers is... If photography is all digital and no one's printing stuff any anymore, then what happens if, like, something catastrophic where the computers just get damaged to a point where you can't recover that stuff is, like, all, all signs of who you were are kind of gone. I mean, yeah, it's nice to have them printed. And that's certainly becoming the case now because it's just... There's more questions about, well, what happens to people when, you know, they're gone and their profiles are on the internet. They're not going to keep that forever. I mean, even now, some companies, because of data retention, they have to delete accounts that are inactive for a certain amount of time, so it's like... Ultimately, it'll vanish one day? So that's why, like, printed stuff is, is important, I guess. I just think, like, we all got caught up in the convenience of not having to go and get photos printed and the fact that we could take as many as we wanted. <laughs> and also, I think the big draw is, like, to get photos printed, you would have to take them to some place. I And, uh, well, I never did this, right? My parents would, but you take them to some place, they develop the photos, and they get to see all your photos. Versus, hey, you just have them, and they're on your computer, and there's privacy. So I think we all just got caught up in that. Can I afford this yet? I'm just... I think I should be able to afford it, and I got the Nook Mile thing, so it'll subsidize the costs even more. But anyway. These are just the ramblings of an old man. I don't even know if that voice is, makes me sound older, or just sick. Yeah, they pick these names, I just let them roll with it. I didn't tell them to call me that. Uh, 
I was like, sure, why not? Go for it. Do I not have that? Huh. I don't have that one. That's not what I came here for, but... There you go, there was some fencing I didn't have. Ah, 9,900. Alright. We'll get there. I don't think I've ever told anyone to call me by something. <laughs> you have police too? Really? What's going on? What is with the plague today? It looks like I'm a little lonely on YouTube. Oh, yeah, probably. It's okay, I have company on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do to, like, publish YouTube better. The problem with going live on YouTube is you have to make a thumbnail and a bunch of other things to even go live. So I kind of like picked just a generic thing. I mainly do it as just an alternative because I like YouTube a lot more if I'm watching on TV. The Twitch app on TV sucks. It's not a good app. YouTube is excellent on mobile and on TV. Since it doesn't take any extra effort to go to YouTube, I figured why not. That's another thing I try not to do is like look at the numbers. I, I have them hidden on Twitch. Cook up a storm, horned Hercules, grow fruit tree. Uh, I mean, I guess I can plant them and just delete them. Wish you could visit Ireland. Yeah, I mean, I'll put up a dream eventually, but as far as people just popping in, I don't really do it. Um, I guess I'll buy a shrub. I'll just plan it, and then just, uh, sell it. I just want the Nook Miles. Nice looking island, thank you. It's taken a lot of work to get to this. Wait. Oh, you don't sell hedges, hang on. Or shrub, whatever it- whatever it is! <laughs> What did I say? Trees or shrubs? Oh, it's tree or shrub. Okay, cool. Alright. Uh, I mean, I guess if I can plant a tree. You know what? I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna do something. Do I play Roblox? Uh, not my thing. I'm too much of an old man to play that. Okay, I'm not that old, but like, I definitely feel ancient if I play something like that. 
told to do what? Play Roblox. Or Fortnite. Or Among Us. I would play Among Us if it's like a group of friends, but I would never like jump into a random game. Fortnite has a bunch of cool stuff. I'm not denying that it doesn't have cool stuff. Like, what you were doing with the Lego stuff was cool. But I'm talking about Fortnite, you know, the Battle Royale part of it, right? That part of it, it's just... It's not for me. It tends to attract the younger crowd, which, yeah. I don't know. I'm an old man. <laughs> That's, that's all I gotta say. The game is... I'm not... There's nothing to do with the game. The game is fun. Like, Fortnite's a good game. Roblox is also good, but they're just not for me. I saw my, my younger cousin playing Roblox and I was like, nah. There are people there that are like 8 years old and 10 years old. I, I can't do it. But it did look like fun. Just not my thing. Never tried Fortnite. So, I mean... It's a battle royale, and the thing... There's two things about battle royales for me. One... I don't like them just because of one reason. And that's just... You need to be good at every weapon, I feel like, in those games, so... I've played Apex Legends, for example, and anytime I got a sniper rifle, or anything that was medium to long range, I just sucked. I'm not good at those weapons, and I just had a bad time every time. But then, if I got something that I was good at, yeah, it was fun. But that's the thing with those games, is you can't re You kind of have to be a bit of a... A mix of jack-of-all-trades and specialists, and there's just certain things with shooters that I'm just not good at. And so with Battle Royale, you kind of have that pop up more often. It's like if I was playing Overwatch, for example, I would never pick Widow, because I just absolutely suck at that character. But then, yeah, in Battle Royales, you, sometimes you may have to do that. So that's all. Not all of them, just some. And then the building aspect, it, it just, I don't know. If I'm, sh if I'm shooting someone, I don't want them to turn into an apartment complex mid-fight. That's just... I don't know. <laughs> Not for me. But that, other than that, like, I recognize the game is a good game and it's popular for a reason. They have a no build mode. Yeah, I, now they do. But the, the, the previous reason is still applicable. It's just there's gonna be scenarios where I'm just gonna be stuck with something that I'm not good at. In a group of friends, that stuff would be fun. I just don't have a group of friends that I can play with. Because a lot of the people that I used to play games with in Australia, um, they don't really play games anymore. It's not that they're not into gaming, it's just life, I guess. And then, yeah, for me to play with, like, people that I know from stream, organizing it is a pain, because it's, like, an even split between Europe and America. So, it's... This time zone sucks, it really does. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. It's not a very convenient time zone if you're streaming. 
That's why most Australians that stream, they tend to have to get up at like 6 in the morning if they want to do well and, you know, gain some semblance of uh, popularity. Bad connection? It's not- nah, not bad connection. Are you kidding? My internet connection's amazing. That used to be the case once upon a time, but now my internet connection is like uh, 1,000 megabits down, and I think it's like 50 megabits up. I can download 40 gigs of game files in just a few minutes, so. Which is great when you have an SSD, you can just kind of uninstall and reinstall stuff and it's no biggie. But it's more it's more the time thing. Like in summer it sucks cuz at this at this time of night on a weekday it's pretty dead. It's usually maybe an hour from now that people start turning up like the Europeans are starting their day and some of the Americans are getting up to start theirs as well. When it's winter it's a bit easier because then if I start at 5 p.m. then it's still kind of the tail end of the evening for America. And then eventually the Europeans kind of filter in and it's it's a bit better. I just, I wish I was a more of a morning person. It's just, I've said this before, like, I could get up, I can get up early. It's not the incapability of being able to get up early. Like, I'm an adult, I can get up early if I need to. The problem comes down to the nature of streaming is that you need to be personable. You need to be able to talk to people. You need to be able to have conversations. And I, you know, I'm not the best with that stuff already. There are times where I'm not the most sociable person. And I've been trying to work on that. But that's like extra the case in the morning. You know, I, I, if someone is making small talk, I just will flat out be silent in the morning. <laughs> it's just, yeah. My sentences will be short. It'll just be, uh, it, it, I don't think it'd be great to watch. And that's a me problem. I, I would have to work on it, but... But now this is a hobby, and... If there ever comes a time where it can be something that I feel like could lead to something better, then of course I'll give it a try and try to do it, but... Until then, it's just, nah. I'm content with where I am. I'm fortunate enough to have, like, a consistent amount of people turning up, and, you know, they let me play whatever I want to play, and it's, it's definitely a highlight of my day, for sure. And that's enough for me right now. I, d I don't want to get up early. <laughs> I can stay up as long as you want me to. But I just, I can't get up early. I could stay up until 4 in the morning and be perfectly functional. You ask me to get up at 4 in the morning, I will not be functional. It's just how it is. Right, I'm going back to fishing. I suppose I should do the diving aspect as well. Sorry, I'm just grinding knock miles at the moment. I'm not doing any building. Because I need to order some things for the next thing I want to do. Your brain isn't functioning till noon. Yeah, sometimes it'll be like that. It's 4 a.m. <laughs> Are you not tired? It's okay. I mean, if we watch Hell's Kitchen later, I'll probably be up until that time. Depends who's around later. But it's Friday for me, so I got nothing tomorrow. I just gotta do a bit of cleaning up around the place, but that's no biggie. Thanks for your generosity, man. Give us some words of wisdom, Stoner Otter. 
They say that runners can get a second win, but like, what if the first one is barely even a breeze? Stick that in your skillet and let it simmer. Yep, today is a good day. <laughs> I've said this before, but this little otter reminds me of a cousin I have. It's just that energy. I have to wash clothes. That's not too bad. I have to wash clothes as well. It's going to be warm tomorrow, so that they should dry pretty quickly outside. That's one positive about summer, is just if you need to do laundry, it's great. Things dry out pretty quickly. I'm also happy that, um, on the top of clothes, like... I got two t-shirts coming in, so like, one's a Vampire Survivors t-shirt that looks really cool, and then another one for Pizza Tower. So, they both shipped, and I wasn't expecting them to. The, the ETA was like a couple of weeks from now, so I guess I'm gonna have them sooner. But I love me some cool t-shirts. The Vampire Survivors one is extra cool, because it just, it looks like it could be a band t-shirt pretty easily. If people don't know what Vampire Survivors is as a game, they'll think it's like a rock band or something. And then the pizza towel one, it's like, oh, it's just like a t-shirt from a pizza place, if you don't recognize it. You have wash clothes, you have to wash clothes as well. Everyone be responsible adults here. Okay. Should wash clothes but you're not gonna. It depends how much you have to do. You're an irresponsible adult. I mean, relatively speaking, you're probably not. Save. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, that's easy. Is it because I'm dressed like I, I'm about to go out to sea? Ah, oh, yes, you look like a man of the ocean. Can you catch me a sea bass? I, mean, I had an older relative giving a younger relative shit. Like, they were saying they were irresponsible when it came to money. And I was like, they're not irresponsible, they're, they're average. The person, the relative they were talking about doesn't have debt or anything, they're not, like, they don't have credit cards or anything like that, it's just... When it comes to savings, they're not very high, and it's just because, well, cost of living now kind of sucks. So, it's just like... They're not irresponsible, they're just average, they're like most people. So, in the context of clothing, irresponsible would be like... You have a wardrobe where its door is like breaking open because of just piles of clothes that... Um, a mix of washed and unwashed and it's just like clutter. That would be irresponsible. Having a little bit of unwashed clothes, eh, whatever, it's human. Going to sleep. <laughs> Alright, Ivana, no worries. Well, thanks for hanging out and yeah, get some rest. 
sleep. If you have a credit card, just pay it off for every month. We'll see, that's responsible. Sorry, to be clear, like, having a credit card's not the irresponsible part. It's more using it without the intention of paying it, and then you have, like, large sums of money that you have to pay off that is accruing interest and getting larger in scope. I don't know how people go back to sleep once you wake up, you can't go back to sleep that day. But I mean, some of it's just practice, some of it's just like how you're wired. I can take a nap anywhere, and that's always been the case. The one time I want to see Bass, watch it like disappear off the face of the earth. There we go. Nope, this is something else. This is something else. Oh, it's a sunfish. <laughs> I love the derp on the sunfish. It also depends on how tired I am. Sometimes I'm watching a stream and then I'm so comfortable on the couch and it's just... Something catches up with me and I just fall asleep. Anytime I'm looking for something, it just disappears. A sea bass is a fish that people curse constantly because of how often it appears. The moment I want one, it's gone. Eventually what I'm thinking with YouTube is like maybe going live selectively over there. Cause I got the feeling the audience over there is gonna skew more towards like the retro game stuff because those are the videos that seem to be doing well as far as stuff that I've put out on that particular channel. So it might just be a case of well, whenever I'm doing something like that, that's when I'll go live over there. But right now it's like it's no effort really to just push the button. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> that was bad. I'm sorry. I should close my eyes when I fish. I do a lot better. Walked into that one. How that didn't go off, I, I have no idea.
The only thing you don't like about Nintendo is all the new games are the same price. Yeah. I understand that. I think the reasoning they said is like, there's no reason for them to devalue their own things. It's a case of like a retailer will sell things on sale. So they'll mark down the price already and it's just... I can, I can kind of understand the mentality. It's like, if something is good, it's always going to be good, right? It doesn't matter if it's old or not. You can definitely have it marked down, but I don't know. But then on the other hand, there's like the case of Pokemon where it's just like, come on man, really? Those games are gonna be full price, both of them. I love Pokemon, the series, but just conceptually it being two games and costing full price, it's just, it's less of a necessity now and it's just a money-making thing at the end of the day now. This is part of the reason that I still don't want to go fully digital, is just... Purchasing digital copies from Nintendo will always be super expensive. It's just going to be full retail price, unless they decide to have a sale. Versus physical copies where... You know, if a game is old enough, they'll start selling it a little bit cheaper. Australia is a special case because I'd say 90% of the time a physical copy will be cheaper than a digital copy for dumb reasons that I won't go into, but Australians will be mainly physical at least in the near f for the near future unless they change the state of things It's not even a small amount either. It's like you're saving between twenty to thirty dollars if you buy a physical copy. Please, please be the sea bass. Same in America, but you have to go to an actual game store. Oh no, here, like, Amazon physical copies are cheap. You don't need to go to a game store. Like, the most recent one was, like, God of War Ragnarok was $120 digitally, or it was, like, $90 physically. And then I waited a bit, and I got it for $79. That's the sort of thing I'm dealing with. There we go. I just gotta go deliver it. You know, one thing I've been very paranoid about, <laughs> I don't think it's going to be the case, but I'm worried that when I go make the dream, I well, the dream, so then people can visit this in their own time, that the game's going to go, hey, you have too many objects on your island, sorry, we can't make a dream, or just some annoying message like that, or it's just, it's hit some limitation. Because the island is lagging a little bit, just a little bit. 
particularly around here, you'll just see objects kind of pop in. I mean, we'll see. Otherwise, I'll just, I don't know, walk around it very slowly. <laughs> Here is your fish. Wait a wait a wait a minute! Didn't I <laughs> didn't I trade the zap? I traded the zap suit. I've, is this zap suit just going around? <laughs> All right, whatever. I got it back now. I'm putting the stuff away because I'm too lazy to sell it now. And, you know, models and whatnot. Oh, I got a mermaid lamp recipe. I don't know if I have that. I don't. What does this look like? I guess I still have mermaid stuff I don't have, huh? Oh. I mean, it's more of a shell lamp than the mermaid lamp. I guess it's like a lamp a mermaid would own as opposed to like a lamp of a mermaid. Um, I think I put one of the recipes away that I was going to sell. Give me a minute. Oh, yeah, see, I have a bunch of them. Golden altar, golden cask. I kept the golden ones. I still need a bunch of nook miles. These can go. This was just spares. Uh, DIY and cook. Horned Hercules, Dace. Okay. I'll just go get some bait. That's the easiest thing to do. And it'll come in handy, I'm sure, having bait. I mean, I guess I should, like, reiterate some of the things I'm going to work on, but, you know, today's project was setting up a casino area for the secret beach, so that's what I did. And I also messed around with yoga mats being used as parving, so I think it looks good. I'm going to do more of this kind of thing. It allows you to lay one pattern over another. Which, if you're familiar with it, you'll know why it's important. Sometimes pattern blends in with one another, and you can't do, like, a custom pattern over a custom pattern. So this way, you can. And I think the wood looks a bit more natural with, like, spacing like that, so... Yeah. I'm gonna do more of that. I just have to order a bunch of yoga mats. It's gonna take a while. I do need to do that. I think I don't have anything else I'm gonna order, so I'm just gonna do that now before I forget. Wait a minute. Never mind. I thought I... I thought I saw the, uh, the ABD thing, but I think it was non-purchasable. Okay. This is why I've been buying these <laughs> the last couple of days.
But yeah, I'm probably going to do it here, where it's like, the yoga mats will go this way, and then up. And maybe across as well. I'll make a, you know, a boardwalk using the yoga mats. And I have other ideas with it. Hmm. I should probably go for this because I think... I don't know if it's this month or next month, but this could be a moray eel. I don't have that yet. Oh, there you go. <laughs> this month it is. Alright, I'll go donate that. Speak of the devil. I need vanilla clams, where are they? Come on. Oh, there's one. Just need one more. I do want this before I wrap up Animal Crossing. Okay. Can't say I've had to grind the Nook Miles in a while. That's an easy one. Very quick. Oops. Hit rocks. Which rocks haven't I hit? I think I've hit these two. I'm worried this is going to crash at some point. I don't know. As nice as this looks, it's just it's concerning me that things are popping in. I'm surprised I haven't gotten any to chop wood. Ugh, it's another plant. Um... I guess one I can go for is the dice. I just need a small fish. You know what, while I'm here... Let's do this before I forget. Uh, here you go. We'll learn a bit about it as well. The Moray Eel. Uh, 
Despite its rather frightening features, the moray eel is really a very cowardly fish. It lives its life hiding in caves and will only attack if you're looking for a fight. You've heard of a bark that is worse than the bite? Well, the moray eel has a face that's worse than its fight. Alright. Nah, we're good. How am I going with this stuff anyway? Not that. I mean, getting there. There's not that many left, to be honest. I guess look for the dice. I think one thing that is a little bit of bad design on my part is, well, if I want to do river fishing, it's kind of a pain <laughs> currently. I don't, I didn't really live, leave much of the river exposed. But I don't like river fishing anyway. You could kind of do it, it's just... It's a little more effort than it should be. Please be the dice. Ah, damn it. Christian cup. You should get more knock miles for this. There are times where finding the thing it wants me to look for takes an hour. Oh, you're kidding. It scared it away. <laughs> Damn it. Because I was turning the fountain on and off, technically, I guess. Yeah, that's the one floor about what I have going on right now, it's just, it's kind of a pain to fish in the river. Ah, I messed up. Okay. I do have an idea for this top part, but I need a few yoga mats to uh, kind of execute on it. I mean, I think maybe after tomorrow I might be able to do it, we'll see. Is tiny fish. I need tiny fish. Please deliver the tiny fish. 
I don't think it's even that rare of a fish either. It's just that thing again where because I'm looking for it, it's just gonna vanish. I think I need to make them go away. Make them respawn. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, this is... Wait, oh, I've got a net out. Uh, is this a good idea? <laughs> is that my French accent? Uh, nah, it's just a voice. I don't know what it is. I'm not trying to be French. I don't even remember how it started, just... The way I say fish. It's something that I think has been around since I was a kid, just... Between my brothers and I guess a group of friends, just... yeah. It's something that's stuck. Where is fish? Close your eyes. When, uh, I need to. I need to close my eyes. Yeah, I mean, let's see. There's, there's that, and then just the gruff, like warrior s voice, where I'm just like, oh yes, yes, this is how I talk when I do that voice. Not completely Wario, but like more like these. Yes. That's <laughs> just dumb voices I do. Yes. Hey, Nick, though. Oh my god, I can't find this fish. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. I, wa I just want the knock miles, because the other ones are just... Ugh. Do you read out what the character says in the voice you think they sound like? What? What do you mean? I mean, if you're talking about Wario specifically, it's... I know my Wario voice isn't the best, because it's not like the way Charles does it. Like, Charles Martinet's Wario voice is more nasally. getting every other fish that's up that. Like, I start off with... It's more of a, yes! And my... Well, mine's more like that, and then his one is more like, yes! Ah, yes! More nasally, like this! <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm probably not doing it well today, because it's just... I'm tired, but... 
It's definitely more nasally and a little more high-pitched. Okay, yes, okay, yes. I can't do the voice right now. No, I can't. <laughs> There's usually, like... If I was playing Warrior right now, I, I could probably do it a bit better. Because I'd be hearing Warrior sounds and then i just mimic it and I don't think about it. I'm overthinking it now. I'm gonna look for a couple more minutes and then I think I might have to give up on this fish. I mean, on the plus side, I might find fish that is specific to this month, so... Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I'm just glad the week's over. So I'm just kicking back. I kind of had a little bit of a headache earlier, but... Oh, was... there you go, that's something new. Alright, cool. Wait, if I place turtle... Oh, that's disappointing. It's not like the snapping turtle where you can just place on the ground. Felt like a long week for some reason. Yeah, I mean, for me, I don't know, it's just work. The mix of other things, it's just, there's a lot going on. I think just the temperature going from hot and then going back down to being cool and then going back to hot just kind of did my head in a little. I think given the way my voice is currently, where I tried to do the warrior voice and I just didn't feel it. <laughs> I don't think I can play warrior tonight. I was going to, but it might have to be delayed. I just don't want to push it. I mean, of course I can play the game without doing the dumb voice, but then who would I be if I did that? That wouldn't be me. I'm more in the mood to just kick back today. What happens if you get a model of the snapping turtle? Like, what happens to it? Because the snapping turtle is already something you can place on the ground.
<sighs> it's not too long before the next public holiday. It's like a couple weeks away. can I do to gain uh, cook the stuff that I got for knock miles now is kind of annoying I'll cook um, first donate the fish that I got turtle Learn about it. Go for it. The soft shelled turtle is not one to shy away from biting when provoked. In addition to its powerful bite, this little critter has the ability to breathe both above and below water. It has an unusually long neck, which it uses for both breathing and biting. Come to think of it, how did you manage to avoid being bitten? Well, it's a fearsome critter, but just look at that face. Rather silly. Okay. I guess I'll cook and then hope that whatever keeps uh, just replacing that one is uh, an easy one. Okay, hold on, there's a small fish here. Come on. I'm getting every single fish except the one that I eat. Ah, oh, there's another one here. Hold on. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I'm going to cook. Being lazy. Um, get fish out. I'm curious if I have a fish that I can just kind of turn into something. I don't think I do. Alright, uh, let's just go for something easy. Potato and flour, and I'm sure there's something I can make with this. Why not? There you go. Baked potato. I'm sure I'll use them for something. Hey, strawberry. How's it going? Okay, good. Sell items. Um, I'll get the coconuts out again, because it's... They're a hot item. It's easy enough to do. Bear with me, 
I just gotta, I don't know, have enough to make 5,000. I think maybe a, a stack should do it. We'll see. Yesterday I just woke up. If got much going on today, I'm just gonna chill. Okay. Alright. I'm just like chilling after a long week. Making more progress on some of the stuff I was working on, so. I'm just grinding knock miles now because I need to get another ABD thingy. Alright, so it's a, it's, a, it's a thousand. Okay, so five will do it. Got it. Going food shopping or helping around the house. Okay. I'm gonna have to do like random chores tomorrow. Responsible adult stuff. Green one's nice. Okay, that's done. Ah, oh, nearly there. Buy items, alright, buy customization kits. So I feel bad, but like some of the games that I've been playing have kind of got in the shaft lately, just because of this week. But I don't want to like try and put energy into it when I don't have the energy. You can kind of tell when the streamer just it doesn't have that heart into it, so I don't want to force it. Even though I am enjoying those games in particular. To play Warrior, I need to be in a place where, like, I can do the dumb voices and I don't feel tired. Oh, crap. Well, now this is kind of at a standstill. Uh, I guess hope for a balloon? I don't know. I've been trying to find the dace, but it just doesn't appear.
And then with Nero, I need a Nero Automata, I needed like the I wouldn't say awake, I think awake is the wrong word, it's more like more energetic, because there's combat involved, I need to be able to play well. Oh, thank you. Okay, there we go. Good. Alright, that's done. Nearly there. Okay, this one's easy. I'm just gonna shake these trees real quick, just in case. Uh huh. So I'm gonna go buy one. I thought about going and getting the stone out, but it's just it's a process. And I can just do this. Oh, but it's just flimsy. I don't even sell. Ugh, I'm gonna have to get it out anyway. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it anyway. That's so weird. Why don't they just sell the upgraded one? All right. Uh. What, it's like stone, branch, and wood, right? looks. Once the curtain's in here tomorrow, it'll look even better. Hold on. Something occurred to me. I'm hoping I learnt that recipe and didn't sell it. Okay, no good, I learnt it. <laughs> I was worried that I may have bought it and just sold it, because I sold a bunch of recipes earlier. It wouldn't surprise me if I did that by mistake. Okay, sure. 
I'm not sure why it's not spelling to the left, but maybe it's the angle that I'm hitting it from. Okay, uh, sell item for hot fortune. Just make another coconut. A couple more to do. Uh, there we go. It's nine nine. Ah, oh, chop down a tree. Pop balloon. Ah, oh, I don't want to cut down a tree. Oh wait, no, there's a tree I can cut down. I know where I can cut down a tree. And it's not really a big deal, it's here. That's something. Okay. Customize items, no problem. I think I got it. The only thing is, ah, I'll leave it. But I do need another thousand because I guess I would need them for tomorrow's daily island. else have I used? I think I haven't customized this. There we go. Alright. Oh, not quite enough. Catch five bugs. This one's a bit harder to do right now because I feel like there's not as many bugs around. Good timing. Definitely the last one. I don't have enough to buy it. Oh, 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 yes. Stop 
shoot it. Uh oh. It doesn't matter. It still counts. <laughs> Still counts. I mean, at this point, I may as well get the bugs. I'm basically halfway there. of looking for things again. What is oh, there we go. There's the number. I was gonna say, what is going on? There's no bugs anywhere. Say it in time. All right, I don't know if it just seems to be an absence of bugs or a lack of them. Oh, you know what? It might be because it's hermit crabs. Yeah, there we go. That might be why. One more. Any, anything, anything, anything. See it. This is why I, early on when I was playing this the first time around, I never bothered with the bugs because I, I would just always scare them. These things seem to blend in pretty well. There we go. Thank you. Ten thousand and okay. Well, that's a no-brainer. That one's just it's done.
All right, well done. And then at least the uh, 1,000 mark is not too far away. I would have had it sooner if I didn't buy that extra fencing, but I think that fencing I might use for something. Oh, all right. Finally. Too bad. It's just the replaced one that I put at the uh, casino. Which I can call it that now. <laughs> it looks like a casino. I like how it turned out overall. And with the boat there, it, it does sell it. Happy with how this turned out. I don't know if there's anything else I want to do. Like, I might throw a tiki torch here and therefore ambient lighting, but once the curtain's up and, and I can see what I'm working with. But this. this worked out nicely. And. Yeah, now I can see what it looks like with red. The casino! <laughs> Alright. That's it. That'll do for Animal Crossing. Yeah. I realized I had enough yoga mats, so I decided to make the thing. So... We'll do more of this soon. If you were watching this later as a replay on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end and hope you do enjoy the gameplay of Animal Crossing. Uh, if you want to support the channel in any way over there, the easiest way to do so is just click the like button or subscribe, or you can also click one of the videos that pop up. It uh, helps out the channel a lot, so thank you to those that do do that. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, do more of this soon.